So we're going to learn how we can change these images here in game. So we've got this one here and we've got this one here. We're going to do it on the new item that we've made. Um, it's still waiting on a name, waiting on people to comment what they think it should be called. And I think it really should be called the candy stick. But anyway, I'm going to run a little bit and see what people do. Um, but yeah, we're going to learn how to change the in-game images for these. This is quite simple. It's not too taxing. It just requires Blender, really, um, a bit of scene setup, and then that is generally it. Um, so keep watching and enjoy. So the first thing we're going to do is we do not need uh, dungeons open. Just close that now, and we've got Blender back open. So here's Blender. Here is our image. Our image. Here is our 3D model that we made earlier with all the UV mapping done on it and everything. So what we need to do is we need to add a camera to the scene, and we need to render up some images. So the first thing we can do is we need to go add, and we need to go camera. Now the camera always points to the middle. It's really annoying, um, but Anyway, it's just what it is. So if we press Control Alt Zero on the number pad, it will jump so that the camera applies to your viewport. So that is there. That is the camera on the viewport. And then to render quickly is F12. So it's loaded up rather big because it's annoying. You just move that down. So here we go. We can see we rendered this. It doesn't look too pretty. Um, so let's get a look and see if we can make it any better. <coughs> So we're stuck here on the camera viewport. What we want to do is click the camera icon here and we're back to the scene where we are. So before we start rendering, we need to realize what sort of position it's in and what we need to render it to. So it's size, for instance, the image size. So if we go back to our dungeons modding folder where the axe um, things that we copied across in the previous video, um, We've got these two files here. So we've got tax 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 underscore icon and we've got tax underscore icon underscore um, inventory uh, PNG. So if you hang over on Windows, it does tell you the sizes and dimensions. So this is 256 by 256, and this one here, oh, just clicked, is 512 512. Now there is an extra icon when you're in your map and it shows you what can be dropped. This is the gear icon and that's 24 by 24. So we need to bear these sizes in mind. Um, <clears throat> so what we need to do is we need to go back to a Blender. So what we need to do now is we need to make sure that the camera is actually rendering to the right size. So if we go down to uh, here, um, it's called scene options or output properties. It looks like a little printer to me. Um, we've got the resolution. So we just need to change that to 512 by 512. If we go back to the scene and press control or naught, you can see that the viewport for the camera is actually square now and that's what we want to render in. So click on the little camera on the right hand side to come out of that. Now, if we look at these images here, they're actually diagonal. The axe is diagonal with a little bit of rotation, it looks like. Um, so we've got to try and mimic that. That's obviously the optimal way. And we want ours to sort of blend in with theirs as well, as much as possible. So the easiest way to do this, instead of trying to do it with the viewport camera, we're just going to go here in the middle. We're going to click on our little stick and then make sure you've got the rotate selected here and then we can rotate it now it's free rotate at the moment but if you hold down control you will have um, snap rotate so we want to rotate about 45 degrees so that looks good it's 45 degrees it's not too bad it actually looks a bit screwed there which is okay and then i'm going to have it just about like that so it looks a bit better it looks more like the in-game image uh, that we see the other acts of so now we've just got to render it and um, see how it looks. So first things first, we need to make sure the position of the model is um, in a good relationship with the camera. So control alt naught. So it's a nice relationship. It's quite central, um, just a bit far out. So we're just going to zoom it in. Um, so we press the camera toggle button on the right and we zoom in twice and we see what happens by pr pressing control alt zero again. So that actually doesn't look too bad. But if you needed to pan it, if you needed to move it around, click back onto the toggle, hold down shift, click the middle mouse button in and then you can actually move it around. So you're panning the viewport, which is quite handy. So if you pan the viewport, you can then go here and then press Control Shift and all, and it will do it there. Uh, we want it in the middle, so I've got to redo that and try and get it back to where it is good. So that's not bad, it's not perfect. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. There you go, that looks good. It doesn't look too bad. Um, that's what we want to render. 
So if we render this up now by pressing F12, you can see it doesn't look very good. It's almost unrecognizable, I'd say. So we need to add some lights. So we've got a few options for lights. Let's just go back to scene mode. It won't matter because our camera is here look, and it's showing on here. So we need to go add and we need to go light. Now we can try sun and see if how that looks. It puts it always into the center. It's really annoying. So we're just going to go up with it and we're going to go right by the camera there sort of by the camera I'm just gonna hit f12 doesn't matter where we are there you go you can see that looks a lot better it's um if you're happy with it if you're not happy with it it's entirely up to you you can re-render it again um you can also bring the light in here push it down a bit that may do more it may not um it depends on the strength we can even put it here see what that does just move it around, play around with it until you're happy with it. Generally, the sun is an ambient light, so wherever you put it, it will do the same thing. But if we got rid of the light and, sorry, the sun and we put a um, uh, area light, for instance, you can see here that this is different, looks different. We press F12 and it, it looks rubbish. Um, we can then rotate this and we can point it towards it. You see that line there and then F12 it. It's not brilliant, but the lumens probably aren't up or whatever it is. The light thing, I don't know what it's called in here, and I don't even know where it is. Um, the properties for the light, it's here. So the color here, so you can change the color if you wanted to. Um, there's no real need. And then the power is 10 watts, so we're going to put it up to 180. 84 watts and see what happens not real much I would use the Sun it's probably the best one unless you know what you're doing and you've used it before so light Sun and then we've got to move this back to where the camera is there's probably a I only put it over here so I know roughly where it is um, I'm not even sure if it casts shadow in that direction I'm assuming it does but just put it there and that would be fine there you go it's quite a nice little render it's not too bad but the only issue with that is there's no transparency on it so we need to get rid of this area here and we can do this in blender by clicking on the scene so making sure nothing is selected and then we need to go up to this one here it looks almost like a bit of a camera back click on this scroll down to you see film film is here click film and then click transparent now when you render it up It'll be transparent. You know it's transparent because you've got a checkered background. Unless you put a checkered background in there, it might not be, but generally a checkered background is that. So this looks nice, it looks good. I don't know if it looks perfect. This is just quickly just to show you. So now we need to go image, we need to go save as, and then we need to go axe. Now the my most recent one was axe. So this goes back into the axe folder that's the copy of. Um, you can put color depth and stuff like this. Compression you probably want on 100% just so your files don't take long to load in game. Color depth 8 bit should be fine. Um, we'll find out in a minute. T axe, we don't want that. We need to figure out which one was the 512. So we go back here and when we hang over them, it's not that one. So it's the T axe underscore icon. So here's the TX underscore icon, Let's renamed it, save image as. So there's a little bit of time and we go back to here and you can see here that it's changed. So now we need to do the same on this one. So this one is a 256. I mean, to be honest, there's no reason why you can't save it as uh, 512, but we're going to do it properly um, if I can figure out where I'm going. So this is 256 by 256 enter that close the render preview go back to this f12 and it should be exactly the same it will stay where it is thankfully it just makes it smaller so then we can go image save or save as i should do but it's come up with a dialog box which is good and it was tx underscore icon just to confirm that i'm going back here tx underscore icon double click that oh, i don't know what the compression rate was actually so let's go save as tx underscore icon 100 percent that should be done. All right, there we go. So we've got our two. We've got the uh, inventory icon and we've got the axe icon. Now, do we want to do the gear icon? It's probably best to do it, but um, it's tiny. It's like 24 by 24. So back into Blender, close that down, change this to 24, change that to 24, hit F12. And I mean, there you go. Look how small it is. It's absolutely tiny. But what we do is we go image, save as and it is the gear icon i believe i'll just confirm that gear icon go back to here gear icon compression 100 percent save as render copy save so that is now saved and we should have all the files that we need to get this into the game
So now what we can do is open up Unreal. If you haven't got Unreal open, open it. It will take a while to load. Make sure you're still on your axe scene or you've got your axe details in there or your weapon, whatever you're working on. Um, <clears throat> so I've got it here. I'm under my axe folder just here and here and here. So all we need to do now is we need to go load axe up here, hold shift on them, highlight them, drag them into here. Now, as you can see, they're in here. They Some of them don't look pretty, so we just need to go through and edit them. I believe the only way to do this, I could be wrong, is just to go nearest, and it looks okay-ish. Hopefully that will look better in the game, but that is a tiny image. Same with this one. We're just going to go change that to nearest, save, close, and on the same on this one, say it, nearest, save. It looks a bit funky there, so hopefully that's the right thing to do. I can't remember. I believe it is. We'll find out in a minute. Right, so that's all done because I've saved it. We now need to um, cook it and pack it. So what we can do is go back to our axe file, go back to modding, mod kit, make sure dungeons isn't running and run the cook assets bat. This is then going to put everything we've just done previous and your new images into the um, into the PAK file that we're making. Um, it takes a while sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, it's a little pain, there you go, it didn't take too long. And then we're just going to go package. Package is the quickest, it takes like an instant. And then we're going to load up Minecraft Dungeons. Right, so Dungeons has just loaded up, I'm just going to go, you can see our axe thing is still in here, the, the stick with no name is still in here. Um, I'm just travelling to the camp. Right, so we just loaded up the camp and we can see our weapon is still here so if there's any errors with the compiling of the packages and that um, it probably wouldn't work um, we're going to go into the inventory and you can see that our stick here has changed now it's not the reason it's gone blocky is due to the um, loading so once it's loaded it's in here um, it all looks okay it's not too bad that is how you can get a um, new texture into the game for your actual item uh, items image items uh, inventory image and things like that um, the next thing we're going to be working on is probably the name of it so I'm waiting for people to come back to me and hopefully we can get that sorted and resolved but for now this is it for the item modding um, I will do some more videos shortly but I'm just going to take a little bit of a break because I've done like a whole span of them over the last few days and it's I've just got to think of some more content to help how I can help everybody. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has helped you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you haven't done so already, let's give the stick a name, eh?